Sometimes I wish I would not have to record another R9 uh, mini slim whatever antenna video, but then it, when life gives you lemons, you make lemon juice or whatever. Anyhow, um, apparently there are a few masochists which who likes to listen how a first guy is well not doing things in a proper way, and uh, because of this, and apparently you really like watching this series. Uh, today we have this. Those are two things I got for tests, thanks to my patrons on the Patreons. I highly overpaid for the Super 8 antenna and the Immortal T-Style antenna. Those things are labeled as 868 MHz, both. I got them from Europe in the Germany, from the German store, marked as for the European Union working at 868 MHz. We're gonna check this. We're gonna check if it's really true and if this hopefully, let's say, solves some, at least some of the problems of the R9 system. But on the other hand, I really wish the original antennas were to the correct length. Okay, so let's begin with the Super 8. Super 8, which, which looks like a folded dipole, because I really doubt it's a, it's a Moxon. Probably it's just a folded dipole. The wire over here is really thick, that also suggests that it's a relatively, at least relatively, very wide tune. Over here we have a RPSMA, here I have SMA. Um, I have to get the Get the thingy. Wait a second. Okay, I'm back with the thingy. Let's find the thingy. It should be this thing. So let's connect the thingy and see if this antenna is really for 868 megahertz. By the way, somewhere in the internet I found the information that FR Sky started labeling the antennas for the R9. And apparently to some informations the no label means it's both European Union and FCC, that means the tune should go somewhere around 900 megahertz. Green and uh, green, no, red and blue means this is for the FCC 915 megahertz and yellow means it's for the European Union 868. I see no no color band on this antenna at all, so it, according to this information it should be somewhere in between. Let's open this thing and, and to be honest, it's tuned to 890, it has the lowest possible VSWR at 889 megahertz, which actually is pretty good. The, the lower modulation that FR Sky R9 uses is wideband, there's frequency hopping, it's not really 868, it's only somewhere around, so it's not that bad. On the other hand, I'm not, well, let's say, very, very, very happy with the VSWR at this level, because look, it's 1.6, and 1.6, no, 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 1.6 is not a good tune. No matter what anybody tells you, 1.6 means it's okay. -ish. So really, honestly, okay, now 1.5, 1.4, maybe if I'm gonna install this like this, then it goes to 1.6. Honestly, I am not that much surprised. And let's also take a look at the S11. S11 at the minimum is on only minus 12 dBm. dB. Minus 12 dB. Once again, I'm not really impressed that much. And the impedance, yeah, okay. The uh, 76, uh, around 100 over here at the... Um, Oh, what's that at 806? Once again, I'm not really like surprised this. <laughs> I'm not positively surprised about this antenna, to be honest. 
Really? My dipples made from <laughs> welding wire are better tuned and have better VSWR and, uh, and stuff like that. So I'm not really, 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 really 100% let's say pleased with this thing. Oh well, either way, better than the original ones. Yeah, I made a better one. Much, much, much better one. Okay, if we are not that much impressed with the 800, with the Super 8 antenna. Oh, one more thing. Let's also check if this antenna, which is marked as the antenna for the Europe, will it work for the FCC? VSW are above too, so this is not really tuned. So this apparently can be used only in the Europe and still the tune is only okayish. Shifted towards 900 from 868 and uh, you can make better at home. 16 euros. Yeah. Okie dokie. So if we are not that much po positively surprised by the Super 8s, let me... Ah, good one. Let's take a look at the this thing, which is the Immortal T-style dipole for the Air 9 minis because it has the Ipex, Ipex 4 connector, this small thing. Can you see it? Let me focus for the small. You see how tiny it is? So, okay. This is on, this can be used only on the R9 minis and R9 MMs. The antenna itself. Where is my caliper? Like always. Okay. The one part of this, maybe we can remove the, okay, we can remove the rubber band. And once again, there is no band. So it's either the band is only, the colored band is only emit and it doesn't really matter what you have. Or this should be tuned somewhere towards 900 megahertz. Although the label over here says it's 868. Interesting, right? It looks like the active element on this part is more or less 70 millimeters, which once again suggests, or maybe here we have active one. No, some, some around only 70 millimeters, which, 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 even before connecting this to anything, suggests it's not really like 868. No, no. I kind of discovered that if you really want to, you can make a Ipex to, no, this is wrong wire. I don't, I would prefer not to destroy this antenna because who knows, maybe I will be able to do something with it. So probably right now there will be an edit where I'm trying very hard not to destroy it and yet connect this thing to my VSWR, which is really amazing tool. I'm really so happy I got this VSWR matter vector impedance, which come on, it's great. Half of my videos recently <laughs> are made with the help of this thingy. So let's try right now. We don't need perfect, we just want something. And okay. Okay, we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. And we are not that very happy about where we are getting to because once again, well, smack my ass and call me a bitch. This is not 868 megahertz antenna at all. At all. My connection is once again flaky over here, but look, this fucker is tuned to 
above 940 megahertz. Really? What the... F 850. It says on the box 868. This is not. I repeat, this is not 868 MHz antenna. 869 over here and we have VWS above 2.2. What the... I know, my finger over here is not helping, but like I proved like in two videos before in this series, it doesn't really matter because my finger touching the ground only slightly affects the tune, but not that much. Come on. What are we really... Uh, now it was touching the... Okay, right now. You see? What the hell? What the hell, what the hell, what the hell. I'm really tired. I am really tired of this R9 crap. Apparently, no matter what you do, you cannot really get a good antenna. Please tell me. What the fuck should I do next? Eight hundred sixty-eight, super eight, fuck no. Eight hundred sixty-eight TD pole for R nine mini. No fucking way. <sighs> Cheers. No, really. Just wow. Bye.